Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To. This is part two in a branching video series on how to download and compile source code for Unreal Engine 4. Now in this particular version, I'm going to be focusing on creating a vanilla version of Unreal Engine 4, a version straight from Epic Games, not altered in any way, shape or form. And if you haven't watched part one in this video series, please click on the link and go back and watch that part one because all the steps I cover here are gonna be a reliance on all those being set up the correct way. Once our accounts are linked, we're gonna go ahead and go to github.com slash epic games and we're going to go ahead and sign in to github if you haven't already once you go ahead and sign in you should see the epic games screen populate with the actual branches that we can grab so now we can see we have all these different ones that we can grab source code for now i'm going to go ahead and click on unreal engine since that's what we're looking for here and you can go ahead and branch off your own version of this but the much easier way at least in my usage has been to go ahead and click on this clone or download button and just say download zip file this is going to download the zip file of this source code for this particular release. But if you want to grab a different version for whatever reason, you can click on branch release right here and choose the version that you want all the way back to the original 4.0 release. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on download zip and I'll wait for that to finish. Once you download the zip file, obviously you're going to want to extract it. A couple things worth mentioning though, later on when we're going to use the batch files inside of the zip file, you want to have your extracted files inside a pretty shallow file structure. And what I mean by that is right now I just have this on my C drive under a folder called UE4. If I had a really long folder with all kinds of subdirectories, that can mess up the build process we're going to have later on. So I want to keep that in a pretty shallow folder structure. So once the extraction is complete, you're going to go under the extracted folder and there's two files you're going to run. You're going to run the setup.bat file first and then you're going to run the generate project files batch file. Now I'm going to right click on both of these, or at least this one at first, and I'm going to run them both and run as administrator. That just tends to, if there's any permissions issues, it's going to allow it to run the way it wants. And as soon as I click on yes, a couple seconds later, this will come back. You can see it's downloading the extra files it needs in order to get ready to build everything, or at least get the files that it's going to need to build in a later step. And once this is done, I'll come back and I'll do the generate project files batch file in just a second. All right, so the setup batch file just finished. Now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on generate project files.bat. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and run an administrator. And as this runs, if you happen to get a red error message, just try and check and see in the red what error you're getting. And usually it's just check in a certain box in that Visual Studio installer, which you can modify at any time. The next step in this process is going to be compiling our source code for Unreal Engine inside of Visual Studio. And since this is going to be the same for whatever branch you're wanting to go through in this branching series of videos, we're gonna go ahead and stop this next video here, go ahead and click on the link, and we'll go ahead and pick up in the next video. So with that, I will see you in the next Johnny How To.